and welcome to another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital-delirium.com. As always, I am your host, Joystick, and with me this week is Game Face. Say hello to the people, Game Face. Hello to the people, Game Face. on silent. My phone is on silent. I, yeah. I, I have a, <laughs> a friend of mine uh, named uh, Kara who's uh, asking if we did our show live, and... Uh, uh, we don't, but I get. I figured I'd give him out. I'd give a shout out to him. So, yo, Caro. Also with us this week is Dr. Drew. Say hello to the people, Dr. Drew. Hello. Wait. So does that mean other people than Higmo listen? Uh, well, I'm, that's I'm, a that's a technical <laughs> impossibility. <laughs> Only Higmo listens to this show, and that's all it will ever be. <laughs> I am. I'm pushing the, the envelope here. Higmo is disappointed in you. Alex. We we love you, Higmo. I, I don't love you. <laughs> he doesn't love you. Pigmo. He lives in Missouri. He, li- he I, lives in I Minnesota. Sh- I showed you Higmo. No, no, Higmo. Not not Higmo, the sound guy. Higmo, our only listener. And, you know, in Minnesota, he lives in his parents' lives, basement. In his parents' basement. You know, that guy. They feed him fish heads. He throws away. Oh, well, yeah, I can. Here gets to the part with the cracking. I'm thirsty. Yeah, what are we drinking tonight? Uh, Keystone, Keystone Light, and I had to drag Andrew by his ear to the Mini Mart to purchase a grape aid. He was kicking us. and screaming and whining the entire way. It's and damn kids. Now, now he's got, like, gravel burns and shit all over him. It's kind of disturbing. Because he's dragging. Let's crack. Crack him. Wait, wait, my, oh, my nail. <laughs> I don't have nails. Yeah! That was, that was the great thing. Late. They're tough. Oh, I have Andrew, a Aven- Andrew eventually eventually defeated the great bait. It just took a little while. So this is an exciting week, right? I mean, th- there's something major coming up this week, and I do mean major. It's called my birthday. Oh, oh, and there's this little thing in uh, L.A. called E3. That's also coming up. That might be a little a little bit important. Not important as my birthday, but might be a little bit important. You're old now, so you should walk into the woods. Walk I should, into the what? woods? You ever heard that? Like, um, a lot of Indian groups used to practice that. When the people would get too old, the old people would walk into the woods. And, just and go die. And, like, go die in there? Ouch! Yeah, like the Eskimos. <laughs> or the, sorry, sorry. The Inuit. They don't have woods. Yeah, we do. There's There's Inuits. Inuits. No, they have no, they just have trees made of ice. Oh, no, the, Inu- the Inuits yeah, would go out on ice floes. Oh, wow. I wasn't and being serious. Yeah, no, they would. And then they would die. Kind of depressing, isn't it? Not really. The, in Japan, actually, right now, the same idea is being applied. After that <laughs> earthquake and the tsunami and all that jazz, old people that are close to death are volunteering to go in and clean up the nuclear waste areas. That's cool and all, but I think a lot of young people are doing that too. I mean, they're just yeah, but the old people together. volunteered themselves so that the young people could stay for the future. Ah. Yeah, I read a big article and it was pretty cool. Carry on their radiation mutated semen. <laughs> radiation mutated semen. They're gonna, have some, they're gonna have some messed up flipper babies over there. Not fucked up flipper babies? Yeah. Yeah, fucked up flipper babies. You don't say Definitely. fuck? No. When was the last time you heard me drop up an F bomb? Think. Think about it. You I've heard you say fuck before. Yeah, plenty yeah. of times. It's been a couple of years though. Wait, why'd you stop saying fuck? Fuck is one of the best fucking words. <laughs> yeah, it is. Listen listen to the power of it. Fuck. I know, right? Like it's so, it's so think of all too. think of all the words that are like just as powerful. Fuck. Cunt. Shit. Piss. I don't know if piss is that powerful, but piss I'll sounds cool. I'll say damn, I'll say hell, I'll say ass on occasion, but, you know, usually by itself, like, you're an ass. Like, ass assassin? Ass assassin? A screed? Assassin? <laughs> That's a great word. Stibe? Stibe? I beat ass creed, too. <laughs> and ass creed one. Just say those first three words over again. <laughs> Those first three words over again. I beat ass. There I said. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, you go. My brother's playing 
Brotherhood right now. I want I want to get Brotherhood eventually. He sucks at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got my PlayStation 3 downloading another free game. In case you haven't noticed, the Welcome Back program and the PlayStation Store are both now up, which means if you had an account before the PlayStation Network went down, you can go on there and get yourself a couple free games. If you had a PlayStation Portable, you can get yourself a couple a couple of free PlayStation Portable games as well. You were so out of breath during that. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> you are use, you're also using the, the touchpad on your laptop as a coaster for your keystone. So I, was, I was sitting it right that here. That is smooth. I was sitting it right here, not on the touchpad. That dingus. is smooth. It wasn't on the touchpad, dang Is it as smooth as your keystone light? Yeah. You know, you know what I always liked is on the cans of Bush beer where it says... A, a beer smooth like its name. How fitting. Bush beer. It's so smooth. It tastes like you're drinking a tumbleweed. Okay, as for um, E3 plans, we'll talk about what we expect and whatnot from E3, but if I catch any of the press conferences live, and I am tr- and I will try to catch at least a few of them live, but some of them are like 6 a.m. I'm not getting up at 6 a.m. <laughs> that ain't happening. I will be tweeting about them, so you follow us on Twitter. Wait, I get up at 6 a.m. I could, you know, do stuff. You're going to watch an hour and a half press conference before you go to work? Damn. That takes it right up until I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, pretty much. But I I will be, for the ones that I don't catch at 6 a.m., I will stream them later and be tweeting about those as well, so... Stay Look tuned. You hear it at first. My reactions and news here on, on digital-delirium.com. But that will be I our like, last. I topic. like how you guys always say the dash. I always find that funny. Yeah. Well, it is that. Well, I don't want people like people on ScrewAttack listening to this because we'll get really popular. And going popular. to digitaldelirium.com instead of digital dash because they might leave out the dash. It's I know, but porn, it's just, it's a it's porn just funny. That'd be funny. Yeah, we get really popular, and someone like. We should probably buy that domain name, too, so we can sell it to a porn site. What's the type? Digitaldelirium.com without the dash. We should just sell that, like, because, like, if we get, like, really, really popular. That's a good idea. You know how a lot of, like, domain names... I think we names... got Digital Dash Delirium because Digital Delirium was already taken. Screw them. They're lame. Yeah, they are lame. We're a lot cooler than whoever owns that. They're not that. a video game podcast. They're not a video game news website or a porn site. They must be lame. <coughs> So the uh, internet's been downgraded to three whole things: video game podcast, video game news, and porn. That's it. Actually, I think, as opposed to, I think video game stuff gets cut out, and it's all just porn. Actually, <laughs> hey, you know how the song goes: the internet is for porn. It's all the internet is for. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of depressing. <laughs> Have you ever heard that song before? That's what made grab the internet... your dick and double click for porn, porn, porn. <laughs> That's uh, what, you know, made the internet really kick off is when people wanted to look at stuff without having to tell anybody about it. You know, hey, kind of like it. when I touch you when you sleep at night. I can't stare at your crotch from this angle. Good. Maybe if you stand- Maybe the first time you weren't able to stare at my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you stand up. Uh, no, he's going to, like, if try. But if I st- I don't know. I have a message. He's determined to stare at Andrew's crotch. I could, I could text you a picture of my crotch. <laughs> please, um, I appreciate the gesture. But please, uh, <laughs> I read, I read this, I read this um, news article on Salon.com about um, the art of the crotch shot. Like it was like, why do men take pictures of their penises? And it was like, it was really funny. What did you read this on? Salon.com, have you ever been there? It's a cool news source. Never heard of it. Nope. It's really cool. <clears throat> it had an article about guys taking crotch shots. Yeah, you like, I, 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 I know multiple people who like, some of, the, some of the first pictures they ever took on their cell phones were their penises. Did it mention Brett Favre? No. No, it didn't. I am disappointed. It should have mentioned Brett Favre. <laughs> Because he got into a whole shitload of trouble just for doing that. I thought he was just sexting. 
No, apparently he actually sent pictures of himself to some woman. That's funny. That's what I. Red Fire's the football player, right? Yeah. Well, I think he's actually retired now. Because, but maybe not because he said he was gonna retire like four times and then didn't. But it's like, Alex, you got a haircut. I did get a haircut. You just now noticed? Actually, I did. Actually, I knew it was a little earlier, but I thought I thought I would say it in a really semi-public forum. You're gonna get really trashed on the Jaeger bombs. And Thanks for complimenting me on my new haircut, you jackass. When did you get a haircut? Yesterday. You did get a haircut. Amber gave it to me. Oh, Amber is the color of her energy. It's a good haircut. He's it disappointed good. in you just for quoting. You, that you look hipsterish yet presentable at the same time. Hipsterish yet presentable, as if being a hipster is not presentable. You guys want to get to the topics? Go. <laughs> okay. Odin was born today. What's his name? Uh, Odin. My Odin. My my uh. Odin. My guitarist girlfriend gave birth to Wesley Odin Sunderland today. That is. That is hardcore. That that that's freaking metal. <laughs> Odin. The name. <laughs> oh no, it's not metal. It's. No, Odin. That's pretty metal. No, it's not metal. Odin. Yeah. It's Nordic. It's not metal. Well, Nordic is pretty metal. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm an expert on metal. No, you no. Yeah, I am. There's actual experts. Like, there's people who write books on it. You're not writing books on it. That doesn't. That means. What? Where's your journal article? About. Why do I need a journal article? You're about... not an expert then. You don't present. You don't present things. You just listen to it and talk. It doesn't make you an expert. One could call me an expert on the word bitch because I have written articles and talked about it in, in a public forum. I dated a few. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> One of them threw, to that. One of them threw a coffee mug at your face. <laughs> yeah, at, at school. In the middle of the dining hall. <laughs> she was later, dra- later dragged away by security and they asked me if I wanted to file a restraining order. And I said, no, just please keep her away from me. She's not, <laughs> say she's not worth the taxpayer dollars. <laughs> I should have, but that was like two years ago. Oh, uh, that would have been a golden response. <laughs> okay, topics. The Shadow of the Colossus and Ico High Definition Bundle that's coming to the PlayStation 3 has been priced and dated in Japan. It will, it will cost 6,980 yen, which totals out to $87. Somehow I doubt it's going to be that expensive when it comes stateside. It is slated to be released on September 22nd, so that's this fall, and it comes with a 100-page booklet about the two games. Have you played Shadow of the Colossus? Or- yeah, yeah, yeah. I played both those games, and I had already had it pre-ordered when it was supposed to come out in April. Oh, yeah. And then uh, it didn't come out, so I got my money back, and I bought it on, like, three games. And then I was like, fuck them, I'm not going to get that game. So instead, I'm going to buy the new Elder Scrolls when it comes out. Skyrim does look pretty good, but I'm going to get I'm gonna get this at some point. There's I mean, dragons. I, I already own Dragon. Shadow of the Colossus, but I want an HD version of it, just because the game is fucking amazing. I just want to do what I did before. Like, I would play, like, I, I'll buy it too, but... I just want to walk around and look at pretty things. Like I didn't even want to fight things. I just want to go like sit by, like like walk around like the woods, like where there was no point other than to just walk around the woods and, and nice. shoot lizards on occasion. You can do that, and you can eat them. I think that's what fable is for. Aren't there uh, some kind of? Isn't there some kind of fruit? There's fruit and the again? lizards, and the, that's weird. The one increases your health, and the other one increases your grip. Oh yeah, that's right. Did, did you ever get to the secret garden? Because I Fuck never yeah, did. I, did. I never did that. You have to. You have to have like your grip meter meter maxed out. Oh, that's it's, probably why I never did that. It's awesome. It's so cool. There's nothing. There's no point to it other than just to climb around. Oh, it sounds pretty cool though. It is. There's things like waterfall and there's trees and stuff. It's cool. But the boss battles in that game were absolutely phenomenal. Ico was gorgeous too. You said you played Ico as well? Yep, I've beat both those games. I wish I owned Ico, but I don't. I borrowed my friend's copy of it and played it, and that game really was amazing. I loved it. They're, uh, what's, what's that word? Spiritual... Chucker. <laughs> what? 
that was Sp spiritual sequel or whatever. Uh, did you <laughs> say chucker? I, yeah. I just, Shut up and eat your blue sharks, Alex. I have not opened my gummy sharks yet. I was just thinking. You said spiritual. I just imagined spiritual chucker. <laughs> spirit. Spirit. Yeah, no, no. Spirit chucker. I'm gonna no. stop now. Yeah, I got it. You're bordering on the edge of a racist joke, and it's it's, it's getting. Fun. You're bordering on the edge of a racer head. I love that movie. Uh, so I've never I've seen that movie. Yeah, I've never seen it either. I have it, I have it on us, my uh, portable hard drive. Let us go and erase your head in the night. I'll have to let us watch. Yeah, I'll have to let you guys watch this. It's fucking weird. Oh, I'm sure so it is. Heard. It's called Eraser Head. There's like this weird fucked up flipper baby, like literally. Oh, one of those. There, there's a weird fucked up flipper baby, and this guy like is obsessed with masturbating. But it's like shown metaphorically. <laughs> and like, there's a lady in a radiator with big. A ladyator? No, a lady in the radiator, and she's not a lady. Uh, she's not a lady radiator, or whatever she's the hell. Not is. a lady radiator? No, no, she's a lady in a radiator. You said <laughs> lady. And she like dances and sings this song. It's fucking. It's so weird. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. I hate you for reminding oh, me of that. What a weird video. I hate you for reminding me of that. I hate me too. Join the club. Why did you have to bring that up? I can't wait to put it Shut up! In my mouth. Shut up! Okay. Okay, anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, no release date for the United States, but at least as a release date overseas, that means it probably should not be too long till we get it's into It's had a release, release date, date multiple times now. <laughs> No, it's had a speculative release date put out there by GameStop, who gets release dates wrong constantly. It's just funny. You got a text message. Thank you, Dawn. Let me read it. I'll read it for you. It's from Kiro. Uh, oh, no. Who are you knowing? What's he saying? How long do you record? An hour. Letter from the fan. Don't. Hey. I'm typing an hour. Oh, now you made me misspell it. <laughs> a four? Did you just type a four? No. <laughs> you should have typed a four. I'm going to throw that at your face if you type something like that. No, I just typed an hour. Okay. That's all I put. They'll never find your body. It's, you said that's 2104. You said that to a T. It is 24. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I said that to Paul's two year old son. He did. He like threw something at my knee and I told him they'll never find his body. <laughs> and Paul overheard. You're going to check like, to make sure I just sent an hour, aren't you? All right. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I told did. you I did. Okay. I know. You do You do funny stuffs. Thank you for doubting me. That you doubt me. It You're hurts. Welcome. It hurts my soul. Wounded even? Wounds. It wounds. It wounds? One could say it smarts. It smarts? What are you, 50? What am I, from the 50s? Yeah. You jackrabbit. I wonder what's going to be in the 100 page booklet in this. Probably the story that makes it make sense. Because <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Also, the ending of Shadow Colossus sucked. I love the... It's like 16 minutes long. I loved it. It sucked. It was just cyclical. I it, loved it. It was a cyclical storyline. Uh, and when I found that out, I was so fucking mad. Why were you mad? Because I... At the time, I didn't appreciate things like that. And, you know, and I and I liked movies with res resolution. And now... It I seemed don't. like a cop-out. And it seemed like a cop-out. So you me, still think it sucks now that you... Now that your opinion has changed? Yeah, because I worked for so fucking long to beat all those <laughs> bosses. And then I turn into a baby. And then all of a sudden... You turn into a demon, and then you turn into a baby. No, no, I'm already... Details. After the demon. Yeah, details. Turn into a baby. Horse isn't really dead. Comes back. Like, limping and shit. And then they, like, walk to the secret garden. They're hanging out up there. And then... Fucking... Poof, there's a bird flying through the sky, and then it starts over. Bird. The end. But the beginning. And I'm like, fuck! That was like, that was like... Oh, yeah. It was Spoiler a alert. It was a prequel to Ico. Uh, it was a spiritual prequel. It wasn't actually... It, it was like... 
It, that's what I. That's that's. I think that's the word I'm looking for. They're yeah. not actually connected, but they take place in the same world and they share the same mythology. They're related. Yeah, they're like they're they're kind of like yeah. It takes place probably takes place several thousand years before because like it, that, it's, kid, it's, that kid that baby was probably the first of its kind because he had horns and the kid Nico also well, had no. horns. Well, no, see, dude, it's all it's all open for interpretation. It's all like the entire story is open for interpretation. That's part of why I love it. It was just a it was just postmodernism in a video game. That's all it was. I'm still confused as to why you would still hate it. I, I, th- I think you dropped Because, your- like, bird! And then it started over. Yeah, the bird flying in the, be- in the opening credits. Same bird at the end, and it just fucking loops. Andrew, I think you dropped your monocle. I think it's laying right over there. <laughs> <laughs> you are a monocle-wearing mofa. Dude, I have, I have been reading hundreds of pages, like, academically, and... With that monocle, that must irritate your eyes. No, it's just it's that's mine. one of the reasons I'm like analyzing things the way yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. You're just kind of flexing your academic muscle. No, but that don't mean I don't mean that to sound pretentious. I do that all the time. I would like spout off like economic theorems or like. Yeah, but economics is silly. It's interesting to me. Weirdo. You nerd. nerd. So uh, you nerf herder. So um, <laughs> Konami. <laughs> Yes, I made Alex spill beer on his throat. <laughs> Why are you pulling insults? Out Shut of, like, the front Star door. Wars? I don't know because it's funny, and I watched the Family Guy episode. Bob Saget. I made fun of Empire, <laughs> and I think I think Lois called Peter a nerf herder. He's like, you can't use that. That's not that's not your word. It's our word. <laughs> And then him and Brian were like, him and Chewbacca were like, yay, yeah, nerf herder, and they like high five each other. And they was like roller eyes or something. Fucking great. Money! Okay, so, um. Walking in my penis is Alex's phone charger. Uh, Konami held a big pre E3, E3 press conference. I don't know why they didn't wait till E3 to do this. Whatever, but. The at it, they made several announcements, most of them involving past video games. The biggest ones all involve past video games. They said Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker are coming to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 in an HD collection. Zone of the Enders 1 and 2 are also coming to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 in an HD collection. And same thing with Silent Hill 2 and 3. PS3 owners will be able to transfer their Peace Walker save games on the PlayStation 3 to, or on the PlayStation Portable to the PlayStation 3 and be able to continue their games from there. You're silent. Because I was just thinking about how much I hated the second Zone of the Enders. I never I, even played it. I, I beat first the one first was, one. First was really cool. Yeah, I thought it was. I haven't played the second Zone of the Enders. I've only played the first. It sucked ass. I forgot that it existed. We most most review sites seem to think that it was the better of the two. Whoa, they're idiots. With the brains of trap. So what, what was your problem with the second Zone of the Enders? I What's just, it even like? Can somebody explain this to me? It's like the first one. So but more endier. More endier? More yeah, you, yeah. You're not down with the endiness? No, I'm not down with the endiness of the, the second Zone of the Enders. I don't so know. What, I just like the first one a lot better. So what what was your problem with the second one exactly though? Because it wasn't as surprised by it, I guess. Like the first one I was like, whoa, sweet Max! Let's fight things. And the second one I was already like, ah, I've already been here. I already backed it up. Yeah. That was one of the first games we got with our PS2. I beat the crap out of it. You beat the crap out of it? Yeah. I beat it once. I, I should still have a copy of it somewhere. Unless I remember I got it so that I could play, like, I only got it so I could play the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo. That's the reason Oh, yeah, there was died. a demo of Metal Gear 2 on it. Yeah, but then... Which uh, I, didn't, I had never even heard of when I got that. But then uh, I, like, fell in love with some of the Enders and I really liked it. Nice. I don't know, it felt like this... I remember playing it and thinking the gameplay was fun and the story was disappointing. 
That was a long time ago that I played it, though. So, I don't know, maybe I would feel differently if I went back and played it now, but I remember the story of the first Zone of the Enders being really disappointing. I'm wondering why... The Metal Gear HD Collection, it's got two, three, and Peace Walker. Okay, that's cool. Why doesn't it have one, and why doesn't it have portable ops? Both of those are important parts of the story. I mean, okay, maybe you could throw out one because it's a PlayStation 1 game, but... They released, they released it in the GameCube with updated graphics. Yeah, they did. That's true. They could throw that version in. But, I don't... Why, why leave out portable ops? Because that is crap. Portable Ops was awesome. And it would it doesn't benefit. really tie into the direct storyline. Yeah, it, it does. It, ha- it happens in between uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Which one was it that was like, didn't actually have any impact on it? I do not I don't, I don't know. I can't think of one that did. You might, you might be thinking of the uh, Metal Gear Solid, or Metal Gear Snake's Revenge for the NES that had oh, no, in- it wasn't even part of the series. And it was also... Yeah, I uh, just keep thinking about Alex doing cocaine. <laughs> and there was also uh, Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2, which is a... Uh, you said acid. It's kind of like cocaine, except worse for you. Yeah. But Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2, which was... Uh, which is worse than you... Which is worse for you than Metal, Metal Gear, Gear Cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <coughs> Metal Gear so Cocaine 1 and 2. And me- it's kind of similar to Metal Gear Peyote. <laughs> you said peyote. <laughs> I, just for the record, I don't think LSD is as bad as cocaine. Well, it causes flashbacks. Cocaine just causes immediate damage. Or er, LSD is the potential for flashbacks. Weighing, weighing my options here. That's okay. I don't do drugs. Remember that time you, you bought just... those sugar cubes? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> you jackass! That was funny. I remember that day. I remember being so mad at you, and then, like, you, like, texted me later that night, and you were like, they didn't actually work. You're like, work. it's cool, they're fake anyways. It's, you're like, it's cool, they oh, well, were Well, Tim fake. ate half of them anyways. <laughs> it was just so funny. You were like, you are like, it's okay, I got what I deserved. They weren't real. <laughs> and I was like, yeah! Those guys sucked anyways. Anyway. Those guys were nerf herders. They were nerf herders. I wish this was. Metal Gear Acid was like <laughs> a side story. It wasn't part of the Metal Gear. He's still fucking laughing about that. I'm acid. going to smack you if you don't stop laughing and let me talk. Can we maybe take a syllable off of that name? I'm thinking of the Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid, a C. Well, it's not no, a Metal a Gear Solid, a it's Metal Gear Acid. Whatever. It's a different series. No, whatever. But it's. The, it's it's poop. I enjoyed Metal Gear Acid, but it is not a part of the Metal Gear Solid series. It's a different storyline altogether that Snake just happens to be in. And they do have their own continuity going between Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2. But the gameplay is very, very different. It's um, like a... The entire thing is card-based, and it's very strategic and very in-depth, and the, the first game doesn't explain the gameplay very well, so most players were lost for the first two or three hours of the game, which I think turned a lot of people away from it. I remember uh, this really funny story, because you said the word continuity. Do you remember when, Alex, do you remember down in the apartment when we bought um, a Clockwork Orgy? I wasn't there for that. Uh, you weren't there for that? No. We watched it. We watched it. Does that surprise me that there is a porno called a Clockwork Orgy? There's a couple. I still like Horton. Here's a hoe. But we were we were watching it. The bucket list. Yeah. We're we're watching a Clockwork Orgy, and uh, they were like, this guy was like doing this chick normally, and then next thing you know, like it 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 just cuts randomly, and he's doing her in the butt. And we were like, what happened to the continuity? Where was the transition? And, and there, he didn't even, he hadn't even pulled out. He was just like one minute in the vagina, next second, riding the pooper. So it's like the room. And they were in the same position too. But he was no, in the pooper. The room was in the belly button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Uh, yeah, you know what would be funny is if you got a Clockwork Orgy and all it was was the one sex scene from Clockwork Orange just looped over and over again for 90 minutes. Even funnier, David <laughs> gave it to Mike's screen door and he masturbated to it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody masturbates to porn. No, a Clockwork Orgy. Yeah, I know. Nobody... People just laugh, buy it to laugh at it, and then they just masturbate to nothing. That's what I always did. <laughs> I know there's a porno called Playmate of the Apes. Freaky. I also saw the Alice in Wonderland porno. That was weird. There's an Alice in Wonderland porno? Yeah, it's fucking weird. What the hell's it called? Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, the, That's yeah, what it's the, called. It's just called Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, and it was fucking weird. They didn't give it a weird name like Alice in, Alice in Bonerland or something? No. Surprised. Alice in Underland. <laughs> it was just fucking weird, and there was like a lot of dicks and a lot of vagina sex, and it was weird. And hats? No hats. Dang, disappointed. It was really weird. I watched it in Philly with some dudes that I was in the concert. The dudes from Fruit Punch. Okay. Okay. Sure. You there remember Fruit Punch, right? Yeah. Yeah. There it, will be butt. There will be butt. There will be butt. There will definitely Pop be butt, buns. maybe. Buns. There will definitely be butt, maybe. Quap guns. I think I have to poop. You wanna watch Quap Gun? No. You don't yeah. wanna watch Quap Gun? Actually, I, I think Quap Gun would be even worse than Top Gun. In a good way. In a really even worse way. Okay. Because <laughs> Top Gun is pretty bad as it is. How about Top Gun? Uh, how about VHS? we just make... How about we just make... <laughs> like a, like a, a flash-based game where you're trying to fly a plane. I wish this was long enough to take with me to the bathroom when I go poop. So I could talk to you. So oh, I could, so cord. I could, oh, so okay. I could still talk while I pooped. I do have some extension. But then you wouldn't be able to hear us. I so you're just talk- in there just going like... Blah, 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 blah. And I'd like hold it down while I'm pooping. <laughs> I'll be back, I gotta poop. I'm, I'm going to poop. You just inspired me to invest in an extension cord. <laughs> Andrew's going to poop. Going to poop. Going to poop. Andrew I'm, pooping song. I didn't ask, I just took. Took what? What'd you take? A cancer shark. A cancer shark? Dang. Because you remember Ian called it that? Oh, yeah. Alienating the audience. That was on the podcast. So we, we're not really alienating the audience. <laughs> Did you just drop the... I just dropped a gummy shark into Andrew's great bait. Don't talk. Don't, nobody tell him. <laughs> you should pass me another beer. Catch. Go along. Sweet. Beer. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And stuff. Let's go drink some beer! You didn't echo it like you're supposed to. Beer! Beer! I'm going to wait till he gets back to around the, the next topic. But I will crack. <laughs> you said crack. I do cocaine. Cocaine! Well, sorry, officer. Uh, Take him outside. Medium style. Uh, he just kind of went quiet without the Drew around. This is strange. Yeah. You want to start the next topic without him? He is pooping, after all. The next topic is an, a topic. It's all topicy. Maybe that's topicness. Is it a topic and a pure premium? I read on. Punch Dickia, the description for that video. It Explain said, this to us. Okay, there's a parody of Kickassia. I think we've already talked about Kickassia on the show. Yeah, we've talked about Kickassia on the show. And then someone did a parody of it called Punch Dickia. <laughs> and the description of it said it was an epic, epic of epic epicness. Isn't that like the exact same? Wasn't that the description to something else? I've heard that description before. An epic battle of epic epicness? I don't know. Jeez. Look 
Scott Pilgrim vs. the World DVD case. Maybe it was on there. I can see it from here. I can see the DVD from here. I don't feel like picking it up, though. I don't feel like picking it up, either. So... Everybody's got a water buffalo. Mine is, goes fast, but yours goes slow. Flop-a-dop, blip blop bleep Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. Mine is pink, but yours is blue. I do not have a baby kangaroo. Do you have a kangarugula? That's like a vegetable are kangaroo. Are they called joeys? Yeah, yeah, they are called so. joeys. That's what I thought. They're probably cute. Maybe kangaroo. Except in like some parts of the world where they're called Jose's. Jose's. Posies? If I had a kangaroo, I would totally name it Jose. Or Vladimir. Vladimir the Vladimir kangaroo. Vladimir the kangaroo. You have to give him a more Russian sounding name than that. Vladimir Kissoff. Vladimir Kissovsky. Yes, Vladimir Kissovsky. Premier Kissoff. That was the name of the Russian. Bro, Dr. Strangelove. Yeah, Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> he was always drunk on vodka throughout the entire movie. Yes, he was. Uh, you never heard him speak. You just heard the other guy. No, no, I, no, of course I like to call you and talk casually. No, no. We have more impress. No. No. See, yeah. He's just struggling to get a word in while the drunk president of Russia was rambling drunkily. The ra- rambling drunkily. Yes, the drunk president of Russia was rambling drunkily. Yeah, eh? That was like. German and Canadian there. That was Jernadian. We have two topics left. Drew should hurry up and get back. Damn it. Oh, by the way, the music for this week, you've probably already figured it out because you probably read it on the site by this point. Or you have figured it out by listening to it. But it is the first Ratchet and Clank. Which is an awesome ass game, and if you have not played it, what the hell is wrong with you? If you have played it and didn't care for it, you are a Nazi. Yeah, pretty much. Lombax hating Nazi. I have a new hobby. Describing something as an adjective ass now. You, you totally you read that you yesterday. totally screwed that up, yeah. He's saying whenever somebody uses that uh, formula, he changes the hyphen. What is that from, anyways? I don't know. It was funny. But, but yeah, it was funny. And I didn't screw it up. You screwed it up. No, you just said... He, you parped. No, you screwed it up. You, you said when somebody else uses that. You spaced. Yes! So I beat Portal 2. So did I. I, well, I didn't really beat it. Me and Slacker Chan, a.k.a. Big Timmy, uh, passed the controller back and forth until we beat it. So you beat it. Yeah, yeah, I beat it. I also and, uh, made it. It was awesome. I'm not gonna. Play. I don't want to spoil it because it really threw me through a loop. I really liked the ending. It wasn't as vague as I expected it to be. Like the first one was. I kind of could have standed it to be a little bit more vague, but it was not. It was not too. It was. It, it was, was vague satisfying. enough to be uh, it was provocative. Satisfying. It was satisfying, and I'm not gonna give anything away other than space. Every single, every single time you say it that way, it sounds like you're in puberty. I like that guy from The Simpsons. Uh, I yeah. have to get permission from my supervisor. Yeah, that guy. Space. Well, I'm trying to imitate like a like the auto tune voice. New text message. Text messages. Like Speaking of auto tune, I took a video you did and auto tuned it. That yes. Was funny. Yes, yes, you did. I also slowed the tempo by thirty five percent. Didn't know you could slow the tempo to stuff that isn't a song. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. you can. Yeah, absolutely. That's audacity. That's audacity. So I now have an auto-tuning program for audacity. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about how bad of an idea it would be to have an entire podcast auto-tuned. It would sound like hell. People would get so tired of the auto-tuning, I'd be like, no, fuck this. And then we'd, hmm. we'd, we'd lose Higmo. I, I think maybe if we took if we took just one of the person's voices and auto tuned it, it's like he's taking D-pad, forever to like, crap. It's like uh, D pad is now <clears throat> D pad is now a robot for some reason. You took. I think the iced tea. I think it's 
somewhere away, like someone's chicken their food. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. So, um, yeah, you got you next topic. I've been waiting for you to come back so I can announce the next topic. Really? I've been pooping. I was reading, uh, I was reading Al Gore's book while I pooped. You have an Al Gore book on the back of your toilet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where'd that come from? Is his from? book as monotone as he is? Yeah. I didn't get that far into it's it. It's not even black and white on the pages. It's white and white. I didn't get that far into it, but it seemed interesting. Huh. What, wait, what book is that again? Something about reason. Every single time oh, yeah. I listen to him, it doesn't matter how interesting whatever he's talking about is. Just his monotoneness, like, bores me to tears. Yeah, he's pretty... He's almost as bad as George W. Bush. Yeah, but he wasn't monotone. Yeah, he was just... At least George W. Bush was funny. He was just mono... Nucleosis? Mono I brain cell. Has mono right now. That's hilarious. It's Sam. Say, I do not know Sam. No, his friend Sam. Oh, that's Okay, so Blizzard is currently looking to hire... Wait, who asked him this? Hmm? Did anyone drink? Nope. No. Blizzard is currently looking to hire PlayStation 3 specialists to port Diablo 3 to said console. Which is awesome. I won't have to... I mean, I was worried about this because I really want to play Diablo 3, but I really don't want to have to update my computer to do it, and I don't know if any of my current computers will play the game. So, now I have another option. That's fucking awesome. I love Diablo 3. I love Diablo 2, and 1, I played the shit out. I How do you know you'd like 3 if you haven't played 3 yet? It's Diablo. But still, they could have... They but- could. There could, it could just be, like, you could put it in, and it could be, like, hermaphroditic porn. I have seen gameplay footage of you of it. I assure you it is not hermaphroditic porn. How do you porn. know that they wouldn't be like, Oh, Josh is buying it. We're going to send him hermaphroditic porn instead. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> I doubt y- it. you got to watch where you, where you go, because hermaphroditic the, porn may come out. I'm going to pick up the one copy of Diablo 3. That, that they accidentally replaced the Blu-ray disc with a Blu-ray disc of hermaphroditic porn. I'll be like, porn has never been simultaneously so ugly and so beautiful at the same time. <laughs> I actually saw hermaphroditic porn once. Um, yeah, it was so weird. I, I remember... It was, it, was, it, was, it was with Bones Brigade. I remember <laughs> that makes it even better that it was typical. with Bones Brigade. <laughs> you remember in the first Clerks when he was watching hermaphroditic porn. He went. Uh, he went to the uh, bigger video store, even though he worked at a video store, just so he could get a "quote unquote" better movie. You put a shark in this, you fuck! I totally put a shark in your great baby. <laughs> he it's two <laughs> fruit flavors. And he got hermaphroditic porn. <laughs> I had a health teacher at my community college. You wasted one. Pronounce it hemorphoditic. It made me laugh. You wasted one! You threw the thing away! I couldn't get it out. I'm not gonna cut my finger. Lame. Are you looking forward to... I, my beer has just been confiscated by the Drew man. Are you looking forward to this game at all, Dr. Drew? Which game? Diablo 3. No. Really? I don't like all the, the killing and the looting. It's mean. It teaches people improper things. Okay, so you're not... Stop playing with your microphone like that. Why? It's probably making all kinds of weird noises. Wait, 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 shh. Just a little noises. Yeah, it's about as much as, like, your voice is sometimes. Your or voice mine. is sometimes just so little... So you're, you're... You are... You're... In over... You're not voice. drunk enough. Well, I got my beer back by complaining about the microphone, so... I win. Bob Saget. <laughs> you should have taken your beer when you had the chance. I already have like an almost full one here anyways. So you guys just like drank beer and shot the shit while I took a shit? Yeah, ah! Basically. We, we didn't even cover any topics. We just talked about you taking a We topic. have one other topic after this. You talked about but... me pooping? I'm so proud. Oh, yeah. What was it like? The sequel to a game that I've been re- that I really enjoyed, and actually I reviewed it for the website. Do you mean Treequel? Sequel. Treequel. Sequel. Treequel. 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 Treequel? 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 Treequel?
Good uh, anyway, a sequel to Darksiders, Wrath of War, has been announced. Darksiders 2. You will be you will play as Death. The company is promising larger dungeons this time around and more dynamic puzzles. And considering the first one was one of the better, one of the best Zelda ripoffs I've ever personally played, and it's pretty shameless about that. I mean, it's a it's a basically it takes major inspiration from two video games, Zelda and God of War, and it is awesome because of it. And I'm really looking forward to this. Plus, playing as Death, that's pretty metal. Yeah. Yeah. But I... Check out the review I did of the first one. I couldn't give it a 9, despite how much I really liked it, because it's so derivative of other games. But don't let that deter you, that it is derivative of other games. Play the first one if you haven't gotten your ch- if you have not gotten a chance to because it is an extremely good game. Wait, I just thought of a new, a new porno name, Ramboner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it stars Ram- Ramboner Two, first come, <laughs> <laughs> first butt. <laughs> no. Okay, it sounds more like blood. You sound more like period blood. First, Chud. Remember when we Chud. watched Chud? No. What's that? Sub, subterranean human gra- wait. Chud, subterranean humanoid underground dweller. Oh, yeah! Remember we watched that terrible fucking piece of film? I think I did. Wouldn't I that be it. Chud and not Chud? No, it was Chud. C-H-U-D. Subterranean is... Humanoid underground dweller. Subterranean is spelled with an S. Yeah, it is. It would be shud. <laughs> you look good. No, hold on. That looked like it just blew your mind. No, no. no I'm trying to... I'm trying to... And then, um, no, I, it didn't blow my mind. I was just trying to think... Plus, subterranean human underground would be redundant. So you no, know, I know. This is a movie from the 80s, though, so it doesn't matter. They, they, the, the big hair and the... The hair, like everybody was hair. so high off of hairspray that they thought it was a good name. Yeah, just less gravity. I forget what the C stood for then. Oh, cannibalistic. That was it. Uh. It's cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. <laughs> okay. That's what it was. That is Chud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this sounds like a quality movie. It was terrible. It was like, bad as the garbage pale kids movie. Oh, uh, uh, sounds bad. I've seen clips of that, and and the clips were enough to warn me away from that piece of shit. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> I refuse to watch that movie. I've seen the Nostalgia Critic review it, and that was enough. Uh, he did a I'm whole... drunk f- enough. I didn't buy enough Grape Aid. But I have, a, I have a belly ache from drinking all that Grape Aid. He, he, did, a, movie he did a parody of that in like 2000, a 2001 parody with that movie, and it was like Something like the movie sucks so bad that it broke reality. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not even gonna go there. Anyway, what? Did, you, did anybody know about this 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 movie? It was like from an Italian director. It was like Forty Days in Sodom or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Oh, I've, seen heard it? it. I've heard the song when I've heard the song One Thousand Days right? in Sodom. Oh, is it? I thought it was like within the last ten years. I don't know. I I saw I saw a movie. Well, Forty Days. What was the book that the Marquis de Sade wrote? I don't know, but it, I, I think it was also called like Salo, like S A L O or something like that. Oh, I saw some movie where this woman like sucked off Jesus's toe, and then like there was this big orgy. It, it was weird. Might be it. Yeah, it might. I think might we're talking it. about the same film. It was. It was. It was, it was like an know. artsy film. Yeah. Full, full From like the forties. I just heard it. Forties or fifties or something. I just heard that. Was it? Was it, was it in really black and like white? Ridiculous. Yeah, it was in black and white. I think I know what you're talking about. I think it was called like Tears of the Prophet or something. No, like that, that no. Because that, that sounds. Wasn't it. This was. This was made by the guy who. Um, I just heard it was who an made um, director and he was murdered shortly after it. Oh, uh, this guy. It, the movie I'm thinking of was directed and filmed, etc., by the guy who did. Um, what the, I forget what the movie's called. Did you know that the movie strangers called Violent Shit? Maybe The Stranger. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't remember what it's called. But it's about this like dinner party 
where these people they like, keep up the, you know these appearances in front of each other and then they get like locked in the it's kind of like the episode of Twilight Zone before the, the Twilight Zone you know the episode of Twilight Zone when the power goes out in the neighborhood and all the neighbors think there's like an oh, alien yeah, attack the, like the monster on 30th street or something yeah, yeah. don't, the, don't they start fighting with each other and they start like infighting and like they start telling secrets and stuff this yeah this, I remember there was a movie and there was that movie. whole idea before Twilight Zone ever oh, came cool. out they parodied that and the guy who made yeah, that movie that. was the guy who made the movie I saw about the girl sucking off Jesus toe. they parodied that movie they parodied that episode of the Twilight Zone on uh, Family Guy once didn't they yeah yeah where they were like at war with each other, and they went to like a uh, a home and garden type store or whatever, and tried to buy landmines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all over some trophy. Yeah, it was, that, it was like P- P- some trophy, like Peter won or something. Oh, somebody got home. Paul got home. Doing a podcast. Almost almost done with the podcast. But uh, so you going to poop? I, saw, I actually saw that episode hey, in high school. So did I. L- like, in school. Oh, like, like my teacher school. sold it to us. Yeah. Oh. Our t- I don't remember why our teacher sold it to us, but I remember our teacher showed it to us. That's where I've seen it before, but it's been so long ago that I barely remember yeah, it. has been on the air for like 10 years. What, the Twilight Zone? No. Um, family Guy. Oh. I was talking about the Twilight Zone episode. Oh, yeah. Twilight Zone. Yeah, the Twilight Zone is pretty Rod cool. Sterling's the fucking man. Wasn't he the uh, host? Yeah. Yeah, he was. He, wrote most he of had an show. awesome fucking voice, too. In that fucking show. It's not as good as Morrissey's voice. I wouldn't marry Rod Sterling's voice, but I would marry Morrissey's voice. You know who had an awesome-ass voice? Gary Miller. On uh, Gargoyles. Garrison Keillor. I have no Come idea. Come on, Alex, back me up. Who's that? You don't know who Garrison Keillor is? Who's Garrison or, Keillor? Oh, oh, okay. The guy who hosted? Dude. He let me down. Lake Wobegon? Oh, Lake Wobegon. Okay, yeah. Goliath. On uh, Gargoyles. He had an awesome fucking voice. You know he See, had but an he, awesome voice. He, was, he was a character that was done by somebody. Garrison well, Keillor. Yeah, Garrison but I don't Keillor. remember the guy's name. Garrison Keillor. Here's I remember the right. guy's name, I would call him by his name, and then I would say that he was Goliath. But I don't remember his name. I remember that show, Gargoyles. It was always on when I was getting ready to go to school. Right after, um... I remember, it being, I remember it being pretty good, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. It was alright. You were wrong, by the way. Ian did not show up halfway through the podcast. True, true. No D-pad this week. You failed, D-pad. Fail pad. No, it's okay. He's he's doing something more worthwhile. Pursuing a woman with twins. And by twins, we're not talking about boobs. We're actually talking isn't, about kids. Isn't said woman with twins going out with John again? I don't freaking know. Because I thought you said they were. I heard they were. I don't know that for a fact. Apparently, this apparently awesome. John called you from her phone because they were driving around and saw you. I don't know. This they is have kids awesome. together, so they have to you know, I mean, keep up a certain amount of rapport. Let's... They stay together. Oh, Al yeah, Green! Did I tell you about the time I freaked out in Philly while we were driving? Yeah. We were driving back from Philly, and I fucking Al yeah, Green came on the radio. And I, Remember that? Time was made Tyler crash because I freaked out so hard. <laughs> yeah, he, he told he us that on the way to Pillow. He, yeah, he thought there was on something. Friday. He thought there was something in the road. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck! Like, scream. And so we like, drove. What? To- what? I was like, it's Al Green. <laughs> so we like, drove to Pillow you? on Friday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It took us a while to find Pillow, and then we drove Down from Pillow to pillow, EB. Pillow. Yeah, Pillow Pants. Pillow PA. It's just pillow pa- really re- It's not. It's not really remote, but it's. It's come on. It's a town called Pillow. It was out there. There was nothing around it, except for Hebe. Which is even more Hebe remote. was four miles away, and Hebe had like 20-some houses, and that was it. Yeah. We were trying to find a Chris bar. counted the houses. He's like, yeah, this, this place has 21 houses in it, and that's it. They didn't have, they didn't have a bar in Hebe. They had like an auto body shop. And, and, and there was a house in. above the auto body shop. Yeah. There, there was a gazebo above the, uh, on top of the auto body shop and, and pillow. And there was a guy 
smoking a cigar on said gazebo. Yeah. I kind of liked Pillow. Pillow was nice. They had a, they had a cool was, ass park. It was really picturesque. And then they had, had a lot a, of nostalgia. That nice mountain range behind it, and there was the church with the like the grain silo behind it. Yeah, no, it was nice. And then there was I the building it. with the uh, the the uh, second story door that goes to nowhere. Uh, it's a door that leads out the side of a building on top of some vending machines. It, like it was like almost surreal because like all the buildings that were inhabited were really well taken care of, mm-hmm. and all the buildings that weren't inhabited. I don't know if you noticed they were all being restored. Did you notice that? Yeah, they yeah, all had little. Did. They all they all had little signs on them. It's it, very pastoral. Yeah, it, it, it was. and it had a pretty sweet park too with a jungle I gym. I laid face down in one of the streets because there was that little traffic, and I was like, "Look, guys, I am laying." Here. The entire time we were there, like two bikes drove by us, and that was it. Yeah, they tried to hit me. Damn I bikes! Like, Damn bikes! I'm trying to hit Andrew. What the fuck is wrong with them? It's okay, they're just doing what they do. They try to hit people? I guess. That's what they do? That seems kind of dick ish doesn't it? Mm. I said dick ish That's pretty funny. Yes, you did. Wait, were you gonna uh, did you now? finish that beer just now? No, no, not yet. Oh, okay. I think it's about time to wrap up, though. We're coming right up to our hour mark here. I totally finished my beer just now. Yeah, but we should wrap this up. We're coming up on an hour now, so this has been another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast here on digital delirium.com. As always, I have your been your host, Joystick. With me this week was Gameface. Say goodbye, Gameface. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm just playing. I'm leaving you today. You. Well, I know you just love me so much that you'll implode if you don't see me back here next week. And Dr. Drew. Say goodbye, Dr. Drew. Farewell, everyone. We never got to E3. Why didn't we get to E3? Because people know what E3 is. Well, I was going to talk about E3 and Your what we're going to expecting from it. Yeah, my birthday is more important. No, you did touch on E3 briefly. But I wanted to talk about what I, what we expect out of E3 this year. You should never expect anything. You should just allow the things that happen to happen. I still wanted to talk about E3. Wow, I just got really zen. Sorry. <laughs> my therapy very, kicked in. It's very zen. My, my my therapy kicked in there. It's very zang. Anyway, make sure you follow us on Twitter. That's Delirium Feed on Twitter. And I will be updating constantly as I watch the uh, feeds from E3. And we will talk to you guys next week, probably with a shit ton of E3 news. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.